Welcome to this episode of D20 Theater. Again, we apologize for the late start. We're, we've been having a lot of trouble getting here uh, based on traffic for some of our furthering drivey members. Furthery drivey. Furthery drivey members. That's a word, I it's, promise it's you. It's good. Uh, it's actually one long compound word. Um, so He's a teacher. Hyphens. Uh, we've sent out now the uh, prize to last week's uh, new winner of our of our giveaway, Robert Duran. So Robert Duran, you should be receiving it soon. It's yeah. on its way. It's international. It's so like international. So who knows? Two weeks, but maybe. You, know, you should be receiving. Uh, all right. Eventually. Let Other than know. that, uh, any announcements we need to make before this week's stream? Um, just uh, keep on going. We are sponsored and partnered with our very own really cool friends at Dice Dungeons. Absolutely. You can see the little thing down in the corner. They're the ones who made yeah. those amazing dice we gave away, as well as these awesome dice I've got right here. Uh, really great product. Absolutely love them. Uh, a, definitely check them out. There's a code. So... Get, get some percentage <clears throat> off on if you use our code. And where can they find that code? In the sir? description right below. There you go. Right on. All right. Well, uh, then we will get started. Greg, when last we left our heroes. When last we left our heroes, uh, we completed a, a, a stalwart defense of the uh, of the keep uh, in order to, to give Lars and uh, our comrade um, Farin enough time to plant some explosives and light uh, a, bo a bonfire. Not one of the traditional signal fires, but one that would be close enough to make the other signal fires light and cause the orcs to go, ooh, probably not, and leave. Uh, we were able to do so, but but both Lars and Farin did uh, did fall valiantly, uh, and they did succeed, but, but we did lose uh, both of them. Having done so, we were able to take shelter with... Oh, and that was uh, mostly accomplished due to our druid... Uh, using his heat metal spell on the metal bridge that the orcs very foolishly chose to uh, to lay down uh, in order to come after us. Bit of a bit of a bad idea there, lads. Uh, so we completed our defense, we were able to rest up for a while, and then uh, a ship came in, not from Caneth or from Thermacath, but from the Alliance of the Freeholding Lords, who uh, were, were, you know, kind of looking around and, and uh, trying to find various free uh, city-states to um, join the alliance to, to sort of form a, form an alliance, a, a military uh, joining against the orcish threat. And so, would you like to come with us? The answer was yes, so we went along. And we um, we went to the island of, name Nick, what do we got? What's or that? Oh, Oglesby. Ogle yeah, Oglesby. Yeah. <laughs> Oglesby? The I island of Oglesby. Oglesby. Uh, where uh, um, the uh, the lady that we were accompanied with, she was a princess, I believe. She was uh, Princess uh, Anerol uh, Anerol Mac uh, Anwil, there you go. daughter of Anwil Seer uh, Isum, who is the king of the Hayfork. There you go, which is one of the larger city states. Yeah, in, in the fact, world. if you look at our brand new ah, map there right go. here on the wall, and it's, uh, it's a little bit farther away, so it might be hard to see, but. If you look at it, uh, Haley, where'd you post that? On Instagram. On Instagram, you can check yeah. out a better view. You can see down here, there's sort of a three-pronged river that all comes together to meet in Murtaugh's Eye, which is a bay here uh, that's part of the Alpine Sea. And this three-river system here, this tri-river system, has several uh, smaller cities as well as one larger city that form the small kingdom of the Hayfork. So anyway, um, she knew the guy who was in charge of Oglesby, Who's a uh, who's old friend of the family? She referred to him as uncle, and we went there basically to say, uh, "Hey, you should accept our uh, alliance and and fortify yourselves against the orcs." Only to learn he had already taken an offer from the orcs. Uh, we killed a number of them, captured their leader, and and kind of uh, f flipped him the vocal bird as we as we departed, taking the orc leader, I believe, to face justice at right. uh, at Hayfork. Yes, yeah. And so. That's that's where we're that's where we're headed. All right, I think that's it. Well, and at this point, we will now be entering a, a new portion of the adventure where we can actually explore the waste Yay. fully in a freeform sandbox. So you can see, We've tried to do this a couple of times, explore the waste, but it just kept turning into yeah. other campaigns. Now we'll do it. <laughs> so this time it will actually happen. Uh, so you can see that we have a hex map that's here on the wall, uh, a wonderfully printed map here. 
Um, uh, let me explain to you the rules of how we'll do this. Basically, whenever you are getting ready to uh, plot a course or something, you have a couple <laughs> pieces of information. First, there's the danger level of a particular zone. And I have the zones divided, and, and I'll print you off a map if you'd like at some point. But the zones are divided like such. Everything above this river is one zone. And that zone is what we call danger level four. Because Ooh. it's run by the orcs right now. I see, love four. You might remember, <laughs> right there, right there is, what, where, we is where we started. The That's camp. where we started yeah. the camp. Yeah. Zone, an Aberdubby. And so this oh, is oh, currently orc yeah, territory. Which we learned... Um, was taken over by the orcs as long uh, as well as several other settlements. Yeah. Although Aberdubby was the only one that was allowed to uh, take its inhabitants with it. Uh, every other Free. settlement, yeah, every they other settlement has been given the same challenge, where you know, fight the leader or we take all your stuff. But if they lose, then all of the inhabitants have to stay and are put to work. So that's a thing. Sorry. Forget so yeah, uh, we have divided into several zones here. The danger levels are counted on one to five. A danger level one zone would be basically a incredibly civilized area, the middle of a civilized kingdom, like around Lagrin, the capital of Thermica. Mm -hmm. A danger level five zone would be uh, incredibly, incredibly dangerous. Uh, basically, it would be in the middle of a hellscape. That's kind of five. Um, but storming the central part of Koresharok. Right. Apparently. So any any given area mm -hmm. has its own danger level. A forest adds one to that area's danger level if you're in the forest, while a river takes away one, hmm. since rivers are a little bit safer to travel by. Hmm. Yeah. So, this area, west of the cauldron, surrounding the Old Crow Sea, right above this river, that is a danger level four zone. Ooh. This area here, between these two rivers, is a little bit safer. It's danger level three. We have this area here, between all these rivers. Oh, delta? Yeah, the, it, it's not quite a delta. A delta would be on the coast. Oh, but yeah. yeah, between all these rivers. And that is the only danger level one zone in the whole waste. Mm. This nice. section here, all of this south of these rivers, on uh, this sort of bay area here, is a danger level two. Everything west of the hills here is a danger level two. Oh, yeah? Everything west yeah, of the hills here away. is danger level two. The hills themselves, as well as the surrounding area to the north, are danger level three. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So you can see that there's there's several areas, and I'll get you a key for Where this. Where we have we been told as to why the hills and stuff might be more dangerous? Not yet, but you'll find out soon. Cool. And um, we are on that small island right there. Right now, right. you're right here. In yeah. fact, you just left it, but uh, and you know that the hay fork's right up here. So yeah, you just left here, and Sorry. you're headed for the hay fork. I can't see anything but a reindeer. What? Oh, because it's got the, the antlers. Oh, oh, now I see it. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Um, but yeah, so With you, a little heart eye. Yeah, a little heart eye. So you can see that this area right here where you're in is fairly safe okay. until you get to the hills. So, that is subject to change as orcs take over areas, as you take over areas, as you free areas, do different things. You can increase or decrease the danger level of an area by your actions. Whenever you are getting set to travel somewhere, here's the, the steps. Step one, you choose your route. You say, here's where we are, here's where we want to be, here's how we're going to get there. Mm -hmm. So you'll determine what, what it is that you're doing, like how far that's going to be. Then, you'll choose a pace. We have three paces, slow, medium, and fast. A slow pace lets you travel uh, three hexes, which is 18 miles in one day. Um, and that would be, uh, you'd have disadvantage, uh, to any hostile's attempts to perceive you, and you'd have advantage on perception. And this is the level one or two? This no, is, this, this is, is a slow, slow pace. Slow pace. Um, in addition, you can forage normally. You can also take a, uh, medium pace. In a medium pace, you forage for food at disadvantage. But you can travel four hexes or 24 miles in one day. Mm. And then there's a fast pace, which lets you travel five hexes or 30 miles. You have disadvantage on perception, but hostels have advantage on perception that notice you. Hmm. So there are different risks and benefits to each one. 
Then, we'd roll the encounters. Here's where the danger level comes in. I take 6d6 for each day, and I roll them, and we just pick out an order. Now, in a danger level, let's say, 4 area, a 1 through a 4 means that there's an encounter. <laughs> the oh, oh, crap. In a danger level 1 area, a 1 means there's an encounter at some point in the day. Each die represents a different time of the day. Morning, afternoon, evening, dusk, midnight, and pre-dawn. So each one represents both the day and the night. And so the danger levels actually affect how this works. So if you choose to travel by river, you can stay safer, but it might take you a little longer to get places. If you choose to travel by, uh, by forest, you can cut straight through some places, get there quickly, but Why? the forests are more densely populated with, uh, with enemies. I also have... Uh, Several encounter maps. I have encounter maps or encounter tables that I've created for the coast and rivers, for the mountains, for the grasslands, uh, for the swamps, and for hills. Oh, and forests. And so, any section you go to, wherever you are, you'll find different types of creatures that live there. Uh, some areas are more infested with orcs. What you'll also find is, in addition to the danger level, this is something that, uh, that currently I'm, uh, I'm, I haven't put up yet, but what you'll see once I get these stickers in that I've ordered is that you'll see that certain areas will be heavy orc territory, uh, medium orc territory, light orc territory, and then uh, free, basically. If you're in light orc territory, then that means that what I'm going to do is any encounter table, anytime I roll an encounter, I'm going to roll the d100 for, to generate the encounter twice. And if one of them's an orc, that's the one I'll select. Mm. Uh. Then, if there is, uh, if you're in medium orc territory, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, do that. And if I roll an orc encounter, they have double the <sighs> dice rolls on any amount of orcs. Good. Oh, cool. In nice. heavy orc territory, I do both of those things. <clears throat> And they get the maximum amount on all the dice. Oh, Welcome to D20 Theater, <laughs> drowning in orcs. <laughs> so, Good night. so heavy orc territory. All orcs must die. Currently, you don't know uh, you don't know what orc territory is yet. You haven't surveyed enough to learn where the orcs are holding out. But once you find that out, that will add some decision making. Do we want to go do this thing that's in heavy orc territory, or do we want to stay away from it? So, uh, so for now. You're right there in the Alpine Sea on that island, and you need to head to the Hay Fork. Now, I do not have an encounter table for Ocean. I figured the only thing Thank that would happen at Ocean God. is uh, pirates, right. maybe a Kraken, I don't know. But uh, ah, Hi, Morgan. Nice uh, to stop so, by. I don't have a random encounter table there. I might just, if you travel by Ocean, if I feel like there should be an encounter, I might. <laughs> and then pirates. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right then. Cool. And then uh, we're fighting the Corsair King again. Yep. <laughs> She's back. Her necromancer is going to oh, have another no, remember, uh, Daniel the Pale. He's back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's, okay. he's a bummer. Turns so, out this section of the sea is actually heavy orc territory. <laughs> <laughs> there are orcs just all oh, There's an island what you'll, super find, orcs. what you'll find is the orcs will have territory on the seas mm -hmm. because they have a navy. So Rad. They like yeah. to swim. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> their, their rafts are made of other orcs that are just like <laughs> all right. That's what the goblins So, say. the hay fork uh, is going to be the... the Basically, there, there are a couple places. But the particular place you're wanting to go in the hay fork, where uh, Anwil, the king, lives, mm -hmm. is a place called Last Fort. And Last Fort is right here where the river meets the sea. So, it's at this hex here. So, you're currently here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hexes away. So that's so 60 miles. 60 miles. Right. And so at a uh, at a medium pace, what's 10 divided Three days by travel. 4? Yeah, it's about two and, yeah, two and a half days um, by boat, basically. Um, when you're on a boat, you can't really set your pace. It's set by the winds. Yeah. So, do we want to head that way? Mm -hmm. I mean, I have, if we want, I can prepare Gust, so we don't really need to worry about him. Okay. Also, we can speed up the pace. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> what if I do Wall of Wind? 
just <laughs> set it on the sail. I wouldn't last very long. <laughs> yeah, the, the issue with those spells is that they're really good for like 10 minutes. No, it's worth so it. you, get, you get 10 minutes of really impressive speed. I guess the momentum would carry you for a little, a little bit. bit but... yeah. What if I turned into a tree and we had... <laughs> <laughs> you get lungs. tired. You get tired. Do trees have lungs? Yeah. Some trees. Wow, guys. <laughs> All right. Can I train my dog? Well, magic, doesn't to, in order to be able to magic doesn't need physics. Um, I Let's set sail. All right. I'm wearing my Greek fisherman hat and everything. All right. right. Then there you go. Uh, you set, you set sail. Um, the first day passes uneventfully, and at oh. the beginning of the second day, as you've been resting, uh, one of the crew members of your ship mm-hmm. heads down to the deck, and you, if you're in the middle of uh, eating, you're dining with Anarel, the princess, and um, he comes in and he says, my, my lady, there is uh, something that we perhaps should speak of. And she says, yes, what is it? He says, well, uh, we've spotted one of our ships dashed against the rocks. Hmm. Um, is her town taken over by orcs currently? Not that she knows of. No. Okay. Did it look like there were any survivors? We couldn't tell from this distance. They're uh, quite a ways off. Uh, and where they're dashed, it's it's a bit hard to see the way the boat's tipped. Uh, we did see one body hanging over the side. Mm. Can you get us close, but not too close? We don't want to run into whatever dashed their ship, and then we can just we head can get, over and we a dinghy. can get you close. Uh, yes, uh, close enough for a dinghy, of course. Um, he he says, uh, Princess, and she says, Yes, yes, I insist. If it's one of my father's ships, it's important. That we do our due diligence in trying to rescue the men aboard, if there are any survivors. My apologies. I didn't mean to command your actions aboard your own vessel. Uh, she says, not at all. Rude. It's exactly what I would have ordered. So let me find my... my dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> D20 Theater, where Sam is nine years old. Sorry, that's just really good. Quit playing with your dinghy. Alright, so, I'm gonna <laughs> actually give you some go? options. Of which sort of dinghy you want to take? <laughs> we have this dinghy. S- that's gonna. Cut hey, me this uh, audience, oh, make yeah. sure to make your opinion known. Cool. Pass it around. That is an impressive dinghy. Put right on the dinghy. <laughs> we have this dinghy. It's average, Sam. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this. One. And we have a pair of longer, thinner. Uh, take <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dinghy's a little too small. <laughs> <laughs> It's average. Yeah. Hey, but oh two my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Double dinghy. This is a family show. We're just talking about boats. <laughs> I'm going to start crying here in a second. Uh, so, <laughs> it's just boats. Okay, so, can we get over the dinghy thingy? Which dinghy do you prefer? <laughs> the dinghy like thingy. That's, what we're, that's the that's situation. situation. I, would love, I would love to double dinghy. I like the All dinghies. right, we'll double dinghy it up. All right. Oh, God. All right. Everyone to your dinghies. Your ship... Battle stations. Pulls up about over here. Mm -hmm. And lets loose its dinghies. Your dinghies, basically just for a a sense of distance and kind of what it looks like. Okay. Let's move those over there so we actually put this... Uh, Haley, I need to move your dice. What? Get them out of the way. Gosh, darn it. Uh, Man? Yeah, I'm just ruining all my dice set up. All right, and you can see that there's this ship that's set over this direction, uh, and it, it is just dashed against these rocks here in a, in a sort of formation of three rocks. And as you see it, uh, the princess says, uh, well, then, let's let's uh, climb in and go see what's, what's happening. Mm-mm. No? Bad cookie. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's wrong with the cookie? It just didn't taste good. Oh, I'm sorry. So that's fine. <laughs> Haley, the cookies are great. They're great. I'm, I'm having one. She's All not right. watching tonight, so you can get away with it. Oh, Woo! Okay. Uh, yes, uh, let... I'll take this dinghy. I want to go with him. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with... Oh, good. Yeah, put, put me in the wizard she'll together. She'll go in my wizard friend. friend. You got yeah, it, she's dude. coming with us. Yeah, because uh, everyone abandoned Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Well, fairly you're quickly, the forest, not the sea. Fairly quickly, you're, you're able to row over. There are sea plants. 
That's true. Fairly quickly, you're able to row over to the other uh, to the other boats, and Rover. as you um, not that far. Oh no! <laughs> Here, let's put you. I'd let's like to prepare wind wall. Yeah, but it's the boat's not more flexible. So Did as you go over there, yeah. oh, okay. you can see that there is in fact a body sort of just draped over the side, and it's got a, a black orcish arrow in its back. Again, I would love, love to prepare a wind wall for any projectile coming towards All us. All right, sounds good. That's good. Where are you going to put the wind wall? Uh, in, I guess in, I will lead the way, and I will just put it right in front of me if I'd a projectile like to make a comes towards me. Okay. Oh, okay. Like a perception check? Perception check. Sure. Just yeah. I mean, that's an orcish arrow, so I just want no. to you know, be on the lookout for anything. Unto- five? All right, looking around, I don't know. you don't see any uh, any sort of orc uh, bodies anywhere on this ship. You don't see any orcs mm-hmm. uh, standing there. Uh, there does... is, it looks like one of, the, uh, one of the dinghies that was hanging from the side of the ship, you can see the cable has been cut and it's missing. Hmm. And you can see... That uh, the ladder that would be lowered, the little rope ladder that would be lowered to get into a right. dinghy once it's already there, is hanging down loosely. Oh, from so the, someone uh, might have escaped already. It's possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to. Now. Uh, how far off? How? But yeah, the ladder away. does provide an easy way onto the ship. I was about to say. Yeah. Okay. I would love to dive in the water and go ahead and climb up the right. ladder. Yeah, you climb up the ladder, and once you get on top, you see a grisly scene. I'm, I'm going. There are soldiers, uh, all of them, just sliced and cut to pieces. Cool. Arrows in several of their backs, faces, legs, <gasps> um, and they're just littering the ship. It looks like some sort of patrol ship. Mm. She, she walks around. She says, um, "I would." two of you go into the captain's quarters uh, see if you can find any sort of evidence of the captain see if he survived yes we'll do I will go along with you right I'll let them do it the rest of us perhaps to try to determine what happened here yes well do any of these people look this? familiar to you uh, she rolls over one man and she says yes I know this man he was uh, he was a, a guard at the court for a time before he uh, he was reassigned to the navy hmm I don't know, I'm gonna start maybe doing like a ritualistic thing where I'm just putting like all right. plants and stuff all over these bodies and making okay. sure that they go to Red pepper flakes. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Cinnamon. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, um, not. I don't know if this would be perception because I'm not gonna do like an autopsy or anything. Like a medicine check. Like a job. medicine as well. Mm-hmm. I wanted to see if I could notice job. any of the particular bodies that have you're not here. A, you're like, an maybe died in a weird way. All right. Compared to either being an caught investigation or check or a medicine check, they would tell you different things. Yeah. Okay, I'll roll I'm, medicine. Uh, okay. I'm gonna roll for investigation. Right. I think. Just How does a 15 I'm treat you? All right. So it looks oh, like God. all of these bodies were either killed. Uh, there are a couple minor cuts and slashes on some of them, mm-hmm. but all of them seem to have been killed by um, piercing weapons. Looks like a blade more than a spear. Okay. Mm. Or <laughs> arrows. Gotcha. Uh, and all of the arrows match. They're all like the same type of black arrow, Be- black feathered arrow. Being cut by a orc sword before, well, could I tell that these are the same style of lacerations yeah yeah you could okay. and what did you get for your 19 investigation? investigation as you look at the pattern of the bodies there's little clusters where it looks like uh at first there are several that are up near the um the helm of the ship that are all killed by arrows to the front of their body then you see more in the center of the ship several that have and those, none of those have weapons drawn you see several yeah, in the so center just, of the ship just that have that weapons forward. drawn and the, the layout of the bodies it looks as though they were all killed by one assailant from the center what? of this uh, of this group of soldiers. Then you see some that are uh, so they're kind of like in a circle. Right. Like you see, they're all. It looks like they're all fighting one person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can see that uh, that all around uh, the rest of the ship, it looks like there are people who have arrows in their backs, as though they were trying they to run flee. Away. Um, what you notice place. though is that these attacks were all carried out with very careful precision. None of them are brute force type attacks. Um, <coughs> I'd like, even on the rock face, uh, I would like to see if there's any um, plants or uh, uh, scratches in the rock from someone trying to escape. 
on as if, it? yeah, as if they went up the rock, or if this was a okay yeah, ship yeah, yeah, yeah. on ship attack. Uh, so go ahead and roll me a perception check. Go twenty. Oh, All right, yeah. Crazy. You actually see there is most of it's been washed away, but there's actually some blood that uh, is. It's not wet, but it's not 100 percent dry since it's right here in the ocean. Um, but you can see that there's some blood that stained the rock as though someone tried to climb up the rock and get away. And looking around, you don't see a body up here, but you do see that the, uh, the trail is just sort of dripping up to the top. And then suddenly there's a big smear. Like if you're walking away from the ship, mm-hmm. there's a big smear as though something was hit by an arrow and the smear, uh, splattered out across the rock and the body was washed into the ocean. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they were, they must've hit the rock first. Maybe. So what mu- must have happened is that they hit the rock first, were attacked from the rock face? Maybe. These look as though they were attacked with no warning. It's possible that the orcs laid an ambush here, and in trying to escape the orcs, they dashed their ship against the rocks. I... And and whoever was standing here... Very good. <sighs> yes. What's happening in the captain's corner? What is happening? Uh, before we go in, I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts. Okay. Uh, right. It's within 30 feet of oh, me. Oh, right, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So is I was there... looking for survivors. Yeah, just just feeling out if there's anyone else around here. Do I think we Yeah. I get your surface thoughts. You detect thoughts from her, me, and yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, everybody's you, uh, thoughts. You yeah. don't um, currently detect. I am thinking about my pupper. And I'm wondering if he is being emotionally scarred or not from this <clears> traumatic <throat> experience. Do you have him with you on this ship? You brought uh, him with Yeah, he's in my... I have a little pouch that I just, like... He's just... In. It's like a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't give a darn. So, he doesn't uh, give a dog. Y- you don't detect any thoughts of any survivors or anything. But as you enter the captain's cabin, uh, uh, right. you, you go up to open the door, and you can see that it looks like the lock has been broken. Um, once you swing open the door, you see that it was definitely locked, and then the area around it was expertly um, disabled. And then as you walk in, uh, you can see that there's some blood that's pooling near the door. Uh, you can see that once you start to open the door, it actually has some barrier. And you kind of slide it open, and you can see now, once you get on the other side, that there was a, a bookshelf that was pushed up against the door mm. of the captain's mm. cabin. Uh, that, that was just sort of, basically you were able to open the door to get in, but it didn't open all the way because it hit that bookshelf right. that was up against the wall. And as you enter, you can see that the desk in the center has been overturned. There's things all over the, uh, the floor of the cabin. Uh, the back window of the ship is unlatched and swinging open. Uh, and there's some more blood trailing out towards it. Uh, and you can see as you, uh, as you come in, there is on the desk right at the top of it, uh, there's a drawer that's sticking up open. And on the drawer, uh, clinging to it, is a hand that's been chopped off. Oof. The game is afoot. Uh, as or we no, enter, it's a hand. Oh. Uh, as we enter, uh, you hear me think, Silly. "This is an odd place to put a bookshelf." And boy, it sure is drafty in here. And then I walk in and realize that you know <laughs> things are happening. All right. I'm gonna break concentration. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear uh, You see sure that I have to keep Mr. Going. Going. No, thank you. You going. see that up so against where the uh, the window is flown open, there are actually two arrows stuck in the oh. wall there, and there's actually three arrows stuck in the desk that's been turned over. Okay. There are various uh, various items littering the ground as well. For sure. Uh, so, is there anything in the drawer that has the hand on it? Uh, yeah. As you uh, as you sort of remove the hand and move it out of the way, in the drawer is a uh, a slender dagger, as well as a hand crossbow. Ah. Oh, okay. Do either of those appear to be of any? No. Just, uh, no. They're both uh, they're both particularly fine. Mm. The dagger bears markings on the blade of uh, of a captain of the Hayfork. Gotcha. So, so it's, it's clearly hand... like one that was granted to him as part of a ceremony. Uh, okay. So this hand looks like it was cleanly just cut. Yeah. Okay. Is it a human hand? It is. Mm-hmm. It appears that there was a bit of a struggle. <laughs> oh, I realized that. <laughs> but very calmly, like oh, so as if I wasn't dead, so. thinking that this is a weird situation. I just agree. Although you know different. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, all too well, I think. Uh, so the it looks like the uh, the desk was overturned facing the window. No, it looks like so basically like if if this is the window behind me, if this detective comics poster yeah. is the window, uh, then the desk would be right here, and it looks like the hand that's hooking on there. It looks like probably that guy overturned the desk yeah. and was reaching for the hand crossbow when somebody burst into the room, chopped off his hand, and yes. then uh, then something else happened. Right. Yeah, did you say the arrows were on the, the top of the desk? Yeah, they're on the top of the desk, because it's been okay. turned over like to right. be used as cover. Hmm. So the top of the desk is facing the huh. door. Does that make sense? Yeah, but the door is barricaded. Yeah. It's like, what in the but world? but it it wasn't like barricaded when you walked in. It looks like it yeah. had been barricaded. Oh, Cause, I cause see. Because what I'm saying is like you were able to open the door. Can they see this on the... Yeah, what's the light? Yeah, can they see this on they the... Can't. No, they can't. They so can't. Okay. But yeah, well, I get the But idea. yeah, the bookshelf is right over there. And uh, when you were able to come in, and there's a bookshelf that's just now to your left behind the door. Does that make right. sense? Yeah, I think no. I get it, yeah. Okay. Um, well, there w- there was definitely uh, some, some trouble here. There was a kerfuffle. <laughs> there was indeed uh, a bit of a disagreement. <laughs> uh, a, 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 a bit of a bickering. Can I see anything outside the window? Any, any marks on the hull or anything in the water? There board? is uh, what looks like a bloody uh, handprint. On the window sill, uh, and then there's a stream of blood down the back of the ship, mm. but you don't see immediately any uh, any bodies or anything there. And there's no body in the room either. Right. Does the mm. hand have like a ring with like a sigil or like a tattoo or a scar or something? Uh, no, it does not actually. Okay. No distinguishing features. Then I will not pick it up. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I would like to. Uh, inspect overboard near the rocks because the tide always brings bodies right. into the rocks. Yeah. I'd like to scan, I guess. The Do you want to dive in or just from the ship? Oh, it can be really treacherous. Um, yeah, it's true. <laughs> but you could do it as a tree. I could do it as just a tree. Just like a lily pad. Don't you have some water plants? I do. Yeah. Be a lily pad. Um, be a lily pad. One, I could literally just jump in a seaweed. Pad. Yeah. Sure, I'll do that. Just a tangle. All right, you dive in as just a tangle, like in midair, <laughs> and just a tangle of seaweed splashes into the water. Um, and uh, hmm. as, as you look around, you do see that it looks like under the water, uh, behind the ship, one of the rocks and comes down like this, and there's a little crag, and it goes back under, and it looks like there's a body that is just like being swept up under that little crag, oh. under the water. Ooh, I'd like to drift my way over there. As you get closer, it's missing a hand. Uh, should, um, should is it in? On. Is it in Maybe. an air pocket? Not an air pocket. No. Okay. Um, so so then I'm gonna need to change into something else, real quick. Why is that? Because I need to bring them up. A different plant. Seaweed kind of has some. Seaweed. Uh, yeah. Seaweed doesn't have any right. things. I mean, I was I was wondering how he was. Yeah, you guys seeing can continue. I'm gonna stuff with it has, it seaweed. It has eyes. like a tremor sense, basically. Oh, so gotcha. you can feel that there's something. Shaped there. Gotcha, gotcha. And you can feel that it's missing a hand shaped thing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be performing rites on the. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, and uh, Princess Anadol is actually helping you uh, gather the bodies into one spot. So, Are there any books on that bookshelf of interest? Uh, on the bookshelf, not, uh, not really. There are a couple that are naval tactics, mm. there's some that are like histories. I'm going to be it. Gonna brush vine up on blight. Your... Vine blight? Vine, vine blight. blight. There are a couple, there's one in particular that is a history of the Hayfork. Uh, there's one that is titled something about the uh, Breogan clan war. Um, one that uh, is a book of recipes. And then there is also, uh, there are several scrolls of maps and things like mm-hmm. that. Um, there's the captain's log that's on the ground, actually. It's been knocked off the bookshelf. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That, that's pretty much That could be helpful, I guess. Yeah, I, I'll definitely grab the captain's log. There are also a couple novels, that are oh. like, just for long sea voyages. <laughs> the, the Lusty Argonian Maid. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Volume uh, 17. I think I'll grab the one of the, the history of the, of the hay fork. All right. Uh, I'll just power. And the captain's log. Is there anything recent in the captain's log? Uh, yeah, it says that uh, they had been dispatched uh, on, a, uh, on a diplomatic mission down to Oglesby. Um, and oh. it didn't seem that they uh, they ever arrived, but it seems they were basically on the same mission that uh, Anaril was. Um, 
But that it seems like that's where they were going. It seems like there was some uh, poor weather, and so they were worried about uh, about possibly running aground or something, yeah. as the weather was very bad. But then it goes on to him thanking the gods, uh, particularly the white god, for uh, who's the god of like storms and air, mm. uh, the white god for uh, for clearing up the skies. And the last entry talks about how this is a clear day and they're finally safe. Hmm, thanks. Or so they thought. He's retiring tomorrow. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wearing his nice red shirt. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to use one of my vines to wrap it around him. All right. Fully, and then I'm just gonna basically look like an octopus. And just kind of drag yeah. him up. Yeah, you're sort I'm of an octopus walking. made of vines. Yeah. And you, you pull him up onto the deck, and once you get up there, you sort of reshape into that humanoid uh, vine shape mm-hmm. and drop him on the deck. And then I'm going to uh, break that, <clears throat> wipe all the seaweed off of me, and go, look what I found hmm. on the deck. Uh, oh, yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah, we're so we're, we're going to step me. out. Yes. Yes. The princess, you know who this is? Yes, I do. That's Sir Elfric. Uh, and, and she says, he's, uh, he's a knight of the Hayfolk. And was... I suppose he's uh, uh, tactful. Uh, he's very uh, he's renowned for his yeah. naval prowess. He helped us quite a bit in the Brogan Clan War. She uh, she says he's a good man. He's been working on diplomatic missions recently. He's my staff. He's he's missing a hand. Uh, I'll go inside and I'll I'll bring it out. Ah, oh yes, uh, we found it. Does it fit? does okay and yeah it's actually is at this point never know it's, it's, it's a bit bloated but if anyone wants to roll a medicine check <gasps> oh, i think yes. I'm, I'm gonna i'll do medicine because yeah. we're all i guess we're all just standing here looking yeah. at it yeah it, no everyone rolled badly for that. i got a six i'm helping the the, the, the lady the death lady mine's still <laughs> mine's still 12 seven. okay I plus three uh i got a 22 so you oh, two okay. are, you uh, are looking at it this looks like it would have happened maybe yesterday. So the body's a wow. little bit bloated, but it's not bloated enough that it's been underwater for too long. Gotcha. And is that about the same time that we would gauge the rest of them died? Yeah, it looks like. Is there anything on his person? Uh yeah, he's got uh he's got a you know a naval coat over a breastplate. Cool. Uh he has uh he has a belt that is missing uh it looks like the scabbard has been like cut off of it, basically, mm-hmm. um, or maybe just torn by the rocks. But he's missing a scabbard, uh, and the belt's just kind of hanging loosely in that area. Um, he's got some fine boots that are now, of course, waterlogged. All his clothing was fine, but is now waterlogged. Uh, he's got in one of his coat pockets a uh, broken spine uh, spine glass Whoa. spy glass. <laughs> Uh, it carries a broken <laughs> spine. <laughs> and I was like, wow. uh, no, he's got a broken spyglass in one of his pockets. I'd like to take that. All right. I mean, I might as well just cast mend on it. Right. It, those are worth a thousand gold. <laughs> cast mend on it right now. <laughs> just. What right. happened to his hand? Amazing. I know you've been severed. It. Yes. And yeah, the cut on both the hand and You're the... You're in uh, fine form today, Elf. That was weird. The cut on both the hand and the wrist looks incredibly clean. Uh, you also noticed, while you were rolling your medicine jack, the, the veins are not only varicose from the, uh, the drowning, Poison. but as you look at it, especially near the hand, a lot of the veins are sort of green. Hmm. Gross. Um, I would like to... I don't, I'm not immune to poison just yet. Uh, I am resistant to it, so I guess I'll try to lick it and see what kind of poison it is. Alright, so you take it and just... Oof. <laughs> Alright, it, uh, roll me a nature check. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Your boy's good at nature. Your boy's real good at nature. Uh, wait, where'd it go? <clears throat> It's it's, it's I got a 19. All right. Uh, so you can tell that it's definitely a um, it's a it's a contact poison it would, or not a contact poison, but a uh, the sort of poison that it would have to be caused by a wound mm-hmm. uh, in order to uh, enter the bloodstream. Yeah. It would be a injury, injury, style injury poison, not yeah. ingestion. Which uh, poison? You wouldn't know the exact poison just from a taste, okay. but it's definitely uh, it's definitely an injury style poison. Uh, it's at this point seemed to have lost its potency. 
since it's been in this body underwater for a while. But yeah, tasting it, you can it definitely you can tell that. Mm-hmm. So he was trying. Where was the hand? It was uh, attached, as it were, to a drawer in the desk inside his office. It, it appears he was reaching for a weapon ah. and it was removed. And then he went out the window. Whether by choice or not. I see. Does he have any other visible wounds on the body? Uh, yeah, In uh, it looks like they've all been broken off by the rocks. But you can see just tiny, like small arrow shafts mm-hmm. as though it just the remains of an arrow shaft sticking out at four different places in his torso. It doesn't look like, I guess they've been broken off. It'd be hard to tell if they went in from the back or the front. Uh, well, you can see that, the, uh, that the, the little bit of rod that's still left are all from the front. Okay. So he uh, was shot in the back. I like no, to no, no, no. Like they went in. in from, like they're sticking out of the front, the rods that are left. So the arrowheads are inside of so it looks like... Oh, okay, it, gotcha. Um, I'd like to see the other bodies and see if they have this green poison... Uh, yeah, as you look a little closer, now that you've identified that there is a poison in play, mm. uh, most of them do. As you start pulling open their clothes at the various points where they're wounded, mm-hmm. you can see that, uh, that pretty much all of them have the same poison do on them. you share that's, that? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. That's not entirely we... unusual, I suppose. Those archers that we caught before have poisoned yeah. arrows. Oh, that's right. Uh, serpent archers, I think they call them. But do you honestly think this is the work of an orc? Look how clean this is. I know. The orcs that we fought before have some skill, but I've never even heard of orcs I think, sailing. I think this might be a mercenary she pretending says, uh, to be one. I've rarely heard of anyone short of the world's bane with such great marksmanship. <laughs> We'd know if it was him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. trust me. The world's bane doesn't use arrows anymore. <laughs> that ship would have been exploded by one <laughs> arrow. Um, uh... Well, Princess, I think it's I think it's time to leave. You're not safe out here. Perhaps, yes. Perhaps it is. I'm annoyed. And okay. there's and there's of course no indication of an orcish vessel nearby. Nothing. The only indication of any vessel is that single dinghy that's been taken. No. And uh, yeah, there's no tracks because we're in the water, so there's no way to track anything. I I would love to grab the knight's body. Okay. And put it in our dinghy. In your dinghy. Okay. Yeah, yeah you do so. Um, you said we had all the bodies, like, all gathered together and stuff, right? Right. Um, as we're, like, preparing to leave, um, just for, like, flavor purposes or whatever, sure. I'd like to cast Bless over the whole everything. Okay. Uh, and then spend, I don't know, a, f- a few minutes at least preparing a giant sacred flame. All right. To give oh. them all kind of... A, yeah, and as you do so, they, they start to burn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, and actually, that's the uh, tradition of Thermocast, yeah, is to, uh, to, to burn the, the bodies... Uh, to return them to the light, because the idea is that the uh, the stars and the sun are the realm of the of the heavens, right? That's where Loramir lives, mm-hmm. and so if you burn the bodies, the the smoke carries uh, the soul back up to the sun. Oh, see, I literally just put flowers on their eyes. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, I was okay with that. Uh, all right, mate, you're wasting your breath. Come on. As okay. as they're burning, I, all right. Well, as you turn in the in the dinghies. Um, you can see uh, back over on the other side on your ship you can see uh, that you just hear a scream and one of the bodies from your ship no 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 you're still over here uh oh uh oh you are at the the best right there at this point yeah and so you see one of the soldiers that was sailing your ship go tumbling off towards you a black arrow in his crap uh, oh boy! Roll for initiative. That's not right. Take cover! I'm gonna yell. It occurs to me now, ones. we should have left some people yeah. on the actual ship. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if you would, because yeah, I, I was interested to see how this played out. Yep. Nah, Thaddeus wanted to go look for Sorry, survivors. Really bad. I think you're just a yeah, bad monk. Failed. I think we should play a different. It's not her class. class. It's her roles. Her rolls are just garbage. Right, but Bimble rolled great. That's true. So clearly Haley's guys don't you, like monks. All right. Beastmaster, Osborne. Ranger, no. Seven. This is your thing. Seven. That's one. All right. Uh, it's Dean. Three. Oh, my God. That was a natural one. All right. You why? Nine. Um, re-roll that natural one. Oh, re-roll that natural one. This is going to mess you up, Colby. Steam that is, no, it won't mess me up too much. Okay. <laughs> Hang on to it, though. That sure. is. Fourteen. All right. Barthoon. Twelve. All right, now what is it? Eight. 
Nice. It won't make a difference, so I'll just... Uh, oh, no, you're, you're there. You're right. Yeah, well. He's there. Yeah, he's in front of me. Now. I was looking at Osborne. <laughs> All right, there you go. Made a little bit of a difference. You got in front of me. Good job. You can see, uh, uh, it just at the last moment, Sora Akar, the prisoner's head, going down to, on the other side of the ship as though he's climbing into a dinghy on the other side. Oh, heck no. And in the pits. At that moment, everyone roll me a perception check. Oh, yes, sir. Darn it. Doing stuff. You know what? What's my percentage? Yeah, you know. Ten. Oh, this was a poor roll, so maybe. Oh, yeah. Seven. Seven? Uh, wow, 22. Okay. Oh. 20. 20? 15. 15. Okay. If you got over an 11, oh, no. <laughs> you uh, are not surprised by this. Cool. Uh, as up from the, uh, up from behind one of the, uh, the railings on the ship, pops an orc head. Just snow. She's got a she's got a, a sort of board cloak over yeah mm. and it's an orc head wearing a board cloak and she's holding a black bow and she draws back you can see that she's got a quiver on her back up? one sort of on the back of uh, right above the hip mm-hmm. and then another at her side and she's got a pair of short swords slung uh, one on top mm-hmm. of the other in like a dual sheath on her other hip she's prepped for uh, and she draws back an arrow and lets loose Thaddeus you're in the front let's go all right well, and you had a ten. I did, yes. So All right. I am definitely surprised. So, um, I think she still missed you. So, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, <laughs> the first arrow comes flying towards you, and at the, at the last second you see it and catch it on your shield, the second's going to get there you. There we go. Uh, with a 24. Uh-huh. All <laughs> right. Yeah, I can't even shield out of that because I don't have so shield So that's going to be up. 11 uh, piercing damage. Oh, okay. And 22 poison damage. Whoa. So 11. Thanks, dwarf. And since you were surprised or unaware of her presence, that's going to be 16 additional piercing damage from oh. sneak attack. <laughs> and Thaddeus, you're up. Throw the boat! Oh, okay. and then you see her. I'm sorry, I, I forgot to mention. You see her then uh, duck back down behind the, uh, the railing. Roll another perception check, everyone. <laughs> wow. Hey! Uh, 14. This time the DC is 29. <laughs> <laughs> 29? That sounds, 29. Like, sounds like a crit to me. It was. Yeah. It was. Um, Alright, so Thaddeus, what do you want to do? I'm gonna, you know, and I'm assuming, what I'm going to assume, since you're all on like the ships together, I'm going to assume that at the end of Osborne's turn, every round, the ship can move, let's say... Six squares forward. Can I use my action to make it move? Uh-huh. You but can use an action to make yours move an additional six at the end of Osborne's turn. Does that make sense? Like okay. dashing? Uh, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm All trying right. to drop my head down, kind of be bent low in the boat. I guess I'd be prone. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to be just hauling on the oars. That's All my right. action. Cool. cool. It'll only give you this. three extra squares because you're prone, but other than that, yeah. Oh, can I, can I do that first and then go prone? Well, I mean, it's it's like a continuous thing. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Barthoom. You know, I, I won't go prone then. We need okay. to get over there. Barthoom. Uh I'm going to kind of... I am in a shield of faith, though. That's fine. Can I go prone, like, behind this man? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Just kind of duck down have, behind. Yeah, and have cover. Yeah, you'd have um, half cover. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to yeah. lay my hand on his back and cast uh, just a quick oh, thanks. Uh, cure wounds. Because she did 38 damage to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I took half damage. That's, that's a lot. I like how the giant lizard man is hiding behind the very small lizard. dwarf man. It's not that small. That's not that's, he's very broad. I'm a pretty broad dwarf. He's short. All right. uh, is, are you going to do anything I'm else? sitting down. No. All right, then you are. Um, can I see her? No, uh, unless you beat that 29 perception. No, can okay. I see anyone? Uh, n- not currently. You don't see oh, anyone. Oh, man. On the okay, well, then I'll just... Whoa, can I hold an action to shoot as soon as I see someone pop up? Yeah, you can. Hell yeah. All right. So you pull out your bow and get ready? All right. You see? Um, I, I can also prep an action to use an item, right? Absolutely. Then I will uh, prepare to cast a second level magic missile if I see her. Oh. All right. Nice. Nice. Osborne? Well, some little wandy action. Is she still standing? She is. On the edge of the boat? Oh, no, no. She's ducked down now behind the thing. Oh, well, I'm going to cast Windwall and carry it with us forward. Can you carry it with you? I don't think you can move Windwall. Oh, well, I'm going to Windwall G- right in front of the... Gust sh- will... G- gust emanates from you, so that one you can keep with you. But... I'm going to cast Windwall... I say, she, she is in the ship? Yeah. <laughs> windwall right there. All right. Draw it. Yeah. 
That may she may not jump up to attack us. Oh, that's a good thing, is it not? Except well, that she'll I mean, just yeah. then run away, and then we lose her. Okay, fine. We're gonna take arrows. I will. I will <laughs> I'll take row the boat. Okay. All right, row, row, row the boat. No one rode gently our towards boat. the assassin. And uh, we right, one, two. <laughs> exactly. I feel like I should be not being hit by that. Twelve. All right, there you go. Nice. Uh, and that puts it at her turn. Uh, did anyone beat that twenty-nine? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> I have Funny a plus joke. zero to perception. All right. So so she pops up, and this time you eye, she's gonna fire at you. Oh, yeah. oh, good. So you can. Wow. No, you rolled it when she rolled her stuff. Yeah. Uh, so immediately you guys get your readied actions. Oh, you know what? I should have readied. Mm. What'd you have? Gust of wind. <laughs> Pushed it right off force. the boat. Fourteen? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as soon as she pops up, uh, a couple of magic missiles slam into her right after she looses her arrows. She's knocked back just a ways. What'd I got get? a ten. What were you doing? Ten to hit? Yeah. yeah she was shooting a bow. Oh. Right. All right, so we have a sixteen and an eighteen to hit you with arrows. Can I catch them? Uh, you can try. You can catch key one point. Yeah. yeah, you can catch one. Oh, because both of them hit. Well, it's only going to be the first one that's really scary. Uh, Which only gets sneak attack once, right? I thought you just do it. You just yeah, roll a you do it, but if you, you want to throw it. it back, you can use a key point. All right. So, well, let me let me tell you what the damage yeah, is first. It's, it's only like 20, 60. All right. Range. So, uh, the first one is going to be 10 piercing damage and 24 poison. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Plus... Hmm. Six sneak attack damage. Yep. That's. Yeah. Hmm. Did you just borrow this from that Tomb of Annihilation? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. got 19. You just were like, oh, 19? That's a cool guy. It yeah. reduces damage by 19. It reduces the damage by 19? So, okay. So that's how much that's interesting. It was 40 total damage. You know what? So, I like taking arrows. I guess mechanically she would have to take that damage, but if she catches the missile. Well, the idea, if you if you don't reduce it entirely, uh-huh. the idea is that you catch it right at the last second, so it still drives oh. in a bit, but you keep it from going in as well. Was that oh, for okay. two? Yeah, so that makes sense. Or What's for one? It? That was the one. That was the first one. All right, the second one doesn't get sneak attack, though. Oh, But it wait. still gets poison? Did we sleep? Yeah. We, did, we definitely slept. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The second one deals six piercing damage, and... 17 you know, poison damage. Jeepers. You know, you so much reaction. poison. <sighs> yeah, I, you guys wanted to get hit. Six piercing and 17 poison. Jeez, that and so two, yeah, so two arrows slam okay. into you. Uh, the first you catch right before it drives into your shoulder, um, and the second slams right under your rib cage. Uh, and then you see her turn and dive off the other side of the okay, ship. Good. Well, what a bugger. I'm at seven. Cool. All right, Sadius. Uh, ruin the boat. Barthoon. Um, I can't cure wounds you because you're on the other healing boat. Murder. I can healing word you. Um, I'm going to throw a... Shoot, just use your channel divinity. Because it that's, gets back. And that's fair. That's rest. fair. Yeah. Um, yeah. Channel mm-hmm. divinity is six times level, right? Five times level. Five times level? What's your max health? 51. So half of 51 is... 26 or 25. 25. Uh, basically, full and are you back to. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, it goes up to that. Yeah, sure. That's what I'm saying. You so basically go up to 25. 25 minus 7 is 18. Go up to 25. Alright. Uh, you why? I'm not a boat. Alright. Uh, I see. I am going to jump up to the front of the boat here, just okay. kind of hop around these guys. Get off me. <laughs> I'm doing a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm a dingy gonna, thingy. I'm going to cast Catapult on my uh, on my familiar here. Okay. And have it go over the boat. Okay. To try to land it wherever their dingy might be. Okay, and she needs to roll dex save, is that right? I'm actually not even aiming it at her. Oh, oh, at the yeah. dinghy. Because you're ju- I'm aiming it right. in the air above. Well, yeah, where you feel like the dinghy might yeah. be. Right, because so you're, you're not, not even trying to land drop. it with force. Okay, roll just damage. Yeah. Um... Would I be hitting anything? You will roll the damage. Okay, rolls. I'll do that. Do you have to? Is it an attack roll or is it? It's a save. Save. dex save. Okay, then yeah, roll the damage. Okay, and, uh, we'll see if it, this it is. Later. He just launches it. Uh, into the wow, air. five. So you see this uh, this hand go flying, and uh, as it as it hits on the other side, you hear a spoosh. Okay, oh, so it hits the water. Bummer. Well, all right. Where's uh, shot? <laughs> Evidently. Evidently, I say rowing boat. 
Oh, I'm at, I'm all out of wild shapes here. I, I, I mm-hmm. try to help y'all. Um, I, I roll the bow. All right. Well, I'm already doing then it. it goes twelve Just more. Away. Yep. I'm crashing the boat and we all die. So you're right next to the boat, so on this turn you can actually uh, use your movement to get up onto the thing. I would do that. All right, Thaddeus, you're up. I'm going to use my movement to get up onto the boat, and then you use my action to dash across the deck. Okay, and as you get to the other side, you see no sign of the dinghy, but what you do see is a sort of fog cloud that's now (laughs) just sort of floating above the water on that Mm -hmm. side. Right. I unfortunately have how, nothing I can do about how big is this <laughs> how big is this fog uh, 20 foot radius oh it's, it's not my turn alright uh, Bartim uh, I'm gonna get up on the boat so I can see the fog cloud I can't can I not see her at all no no currently you just see the fog cloud it heavily <sighs> excludes the area I was gonna use command but I can't yep. I'm just gonna cast a sacred flame at the center of the fog cloud. At the center of it? Okay. Uh, so it's well, a dex. It's so a dex save from the, from the center of the fog cloud. From the center of the fog cloud uh, for five. All right. Uh, for a moment, you just see part of the fog cloud like glow with this radiance. Okay. It doesn't seem like anything happened in there. Gotcha. All right. That puts it uh, UI. B seven. That's where I'm gonna hit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you're just shooting uh, in a so spot. No. Uh, Stop. I was just kidding. Okay. Um, I'm going to assume that my <laughs> friend here is going to use some kind of magic wind power. Oh, he's about to. So I'm going to ready my action to shoot my arrow when Fair I enough. see her after he does his wind power. Magic right. wind power. Ooh. Mm, I hope that doesn't affect you. Mm-hmm. Um, specifying that because I am going to jump up here and dispel magic on that mm-hmm. fog cloud. Okay. I'll say it counts. Okay. That's when, also when, wind when power. The, yeah. <laughs> fog cloud's second level, right? Uh, I believe so. First, yeah. Fog cloud's first. Oh, is it first? first. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's first. It's so for a ranger, fog, it's first. The fog cloud immediately dispels. Um, and as it does, an arrow comes whistling towards her. <laughs> oh, wow. She okay. ready her action. Oh, of course she did. For if someone tried to get rid of the fog cloud. Oh, no. Man, I got uh, and that's going to be a 19 to hit. Oh, well, I shield. All right. Nice. nice. Then, uh, yeah, then that's just a miss. Ah. I get a 10, so. All right, so an arrow comes hurling towards you. That would have been real bad damage. To you. <laughs> an arrow comes, because before the sneak attack, that was 43. <laughs> an arrow comes hurling towards dead. you, uh, and right as it approaches, you hold up a hand, and the arrow bounces off of a magical barrier. Ha! Ah, uh, that into the water. is how you deflect a missile. <laughs> <laughs> Osborne. I caught mine. Oh, no, uh, you get to With you get to my hand. Yeah. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> <laughs> That's in character. All right, you have a ready action. I you shot I missed. Oh, you missed? Okay. I got 10. She's, she's, she's UI. What you got? Um, oh, this is tough because I could do two things. I'm going to just slowly walk up with my staff. Now that I can see her, I'm going to get sort of to the edge of the boat, kind of hide behind Thaddeus. Um, <laughs> and you can see now, by the way, in this dinghy, and it's, it's about basically from here to there, from here to your ship, mm-hmm. it's about half that distance away. Um, and you can see that Sara Akar is in the ship with this assassin. But it's uh, just the two of them? Right, and the assassin is sort of standing on the back of the dinghy as Sora is rowing, and the assassin is knocking arrows and firing them at you from there. Uh, I walk up to it, and I say, oh, not that fast. And I twist my hands like this, and you start to see lots and lots of seaweed and kelp coming up to Ooh. entangle the ship. All right. All to right. cause oh. them to stop. Oh. Cool. So does the ship make a strength saving DC? <laughs> no, it just it just seems to uh, have stopped currently. Sora will have to make a, a strength check to keep rowing. Uh, I, I, I say, <laughs> you ain't is everywhere. <laughs> Not just the forest. Uh, and uh, you hear the archer call back in common. So are the black spirits. And she looses an arrow towards you. Oh, I'm, I'm not afraid of the black. Right. Yeah, that's cover true. That's true. That's true. Half cover? So you've got half cover. Cool. All right. So what's that put your AC at? It's plus two. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. That's right. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty Bummer. for the second hit, but an eighteen for the first. 
<laughs> so, that's going to deal <laughs> four <laughs> piercing damage. Ow! And, uh, and 25 poison damage. <laughs> Half of that. All right. Oh, that's oh yeah. Because right, you're of the Stop. green. All right. All right. And no sneak attack because she doesn't have a buddy. And then, uh, she, uh, that's it. That is. Um. Yeah. Oh man, I am just not in a position to. You said twenty-four poison, right? Yeah. Is 24. the princess playing? Right now, uh, she's up on the ship, okay. but uh, uh, she uh, is currently uh, like taking cover behind the mast. She knows that if there's someone here that that person's gonna target, it might be her. Oh wait. Yeah, I think so. That you just it. got crit. I got crit. Ha! Huh, who did that? Mm. Who do you think did that? Was Tyler. Tyler. Tyler crit. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, let's uh, let's roll those damage dice again then. Tyler, I hate you. <laughs> it's actually a very poor crit. That's okay. It's an additional. Twenty-seven. Uh, one piercing damage. Oh. Okay. And seventeen poison. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That could 17. have been much worse. <laughs> nine, nine, All right. Nine. So you if you would like to change dice rolls, you can oh, hop on the Patreon hey. and uh, and support us there. There you go. All right. Uh, so, so this it's... arrow slams straight home uh, as it uh, as it as it pierces into you. You can feel this your, your the anti venom in basically in your veins fighting against this poison. Uh, your own natural connection to the green, trying to counteract this herb that's, so that's inside of cool. you. I reach over to, uh, right. I look over towards UI, but I guess I'll move over. But Can you know, I just glance over towards her and say, "Loramia, guide your aim." And your bow begins to glow with a golden magic weapon? casting magic weapon. Right on. Uh, and then I'm gonna sort of just like kick the halfling in the back of the leg, so he drops down beneath me and goes, "Stay down." And I'm taking the dodge action. As I do, as I go down to my. Uh, these can I pull the arrow out and then try to inspect the poison while I have time? That could be my next. Be your action, yeah. Yeah, that'll be my and, action. Uh, yeah, sure. Then we'll do that when it gets to your turn. Okay. Yeah, far through. Uh, I'm going to raise my halberd and point it at the uh, orc assassin. Okay. And as I say this, uh, I'm, my eyes are going to glow, and I'm just going to sit, just shout, swim, okay. and cast on me. Oh, all right. <laughs> cool. Wait on hill, on hill, on hill, on the orc assassin. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh, uh, she rolls a nine. Oh, uh, she rolled an eight. Oh, so never mind. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> she swims. So uh, on it, her next turn. Yeah, on yeah, her next yeah, turn, yeah. she will. Yeah. Um, For six seconds. So that's gonna be uh, you. Are. I'm gonna shoot her. All right. In the face. Hopefully. You got a plus one. Hey Sam, I rolled a one. Can I have a reroll? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Better. That's much better. Uh, plus, uh, 14 plus 8. Yeah, good. 22. One of your arrows uh, uh, makes it home. You've also got a plus 1 to damage. Then it is a 9. All right, Ooh. cutting through the salty sea air, uh, an arrow man. whistles towards her and slams right into uh, just the edge of her shoulder. She grabs onto it and pulls it out, Ooh. dropping it in the water. Uh, as you can see, her prepared to dive in. I shoot her again, though. All right. With, with extra attack. Nice. For more to hit. Okay. For, <laughs> for a for twelve a good... damage. Boom. All right. Well, it was eighteen plus nine. Yeah. So. Another arrow clips the side of her uh, of her drawing arm, and that puts us to a steam. Okay. Well, I will fire a thunderbolt or a lightning bolt their way. Oh. 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 Yep. So oh. um, I need more d6s than I currently have. Do you, want, do you want these? Oh yeah, oh. lay them on me. I have d6s. I need eight of them. So uh, those are kind of weird. Sorry. These. This is, this is going to go well. So those two by our just, powers combined. You have rolled. Like uh, okay, 10, 13, 17, 21, 22, 29. Well, everyone rolled a four but me. Yep. You, you rolled. I rolled one four. I've four. literally all the other. Oh numbers. yeah, all the other dice are fours. All right. So Twenty nine lightning damage to each of them. All right. Yeah. And a then lightning bolt from. erupts, and their <clears throat> ship catches fire. Their dinghy catches fire Oops. and breaks right in the center. Oh. Sora goes tumbling into the water, and so does the uh, so does the assassin. Nice shot, Osborne. Inspecting poison. All right. So roll me uh, an herbalism kit check. Intelligence herbalism kit. Is that advantage or I no, use my? It means that if you're proficient in herbalism kit, yeah. you get to add your proficiency. Oh, S- seventeen. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Because you can identify s- this. At level you six, we get a plus four or plus three. This actually plus is not three. a poison plus of 16. the green at all. Whoa. It's a poison of the red. Oh uh, snap! This poison, uh, you can identify the orcs fought alongside the Iloki knights of Hisim. Mm-hmm. 
during uh, the Third Rise, the Iloki Knights being uh, high elves who rode on the back of wyverns. And so this looks to be wyvern wyvern poison. poison. <clears throat> hey, someone called it, dude. Yeah, right. one of our fans called, called wyvern it poison. wyvern poison. Yeah. Yeah. Nice so work. the uh, that makes it her turn, uh, and she immediately dives into the water, <laughs> and she's underwater currently. Cool. Okay. That is. Uh, I'm gonna throw two javelins at her. I'm at disadvantage. Well, you can't see her currently. Uh, she's, oh, because she's she went underwater. Right. She's she's, just... she's diving in all the way, but you can see Sora. Hmm. I'm gonna ready an action to throw a javelin at her when I see her. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm also going to ready a. All right, yeah. I'm going to ready a guiding bolt. All right, at her cool. As well. uh, you what? I'm gonna shoot. Is she in the water? Mm, she is. We can't see her. If I can shoot the assassin. No, you can't see the assassin. You can see Sara, the uh, the one who you took captive at the at Lord Keller's island. At Ogles. Is he currently just floundering in a mess yeah, of seaweed? Basically. It doesn't look like he knows how to swim very well. Are we, are we killing him? What? Are we killing you him? You do know there was a price on his head from the hay fork. He's wanted. Uh, they think he has some information that could be valuable. Also, information is valuable. Oh, that's fair. Then can I wait to shoot her when she pops Sure, you can ready an action for that. I All will right. do that. Hey, Steam? Okay. Um, well, I was kind of hoping to be able to see her, too. Um, she's got a breach sometime. Yep. You're going to throw another lightning bolt at her? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm going to cast sleep, centered on where she just was, where she jumped in. All right, roll five d eight. Okay. Ooh, that'd be really Ooh, bad because then she'd like drown. Ooh, 24, 20, 32. So ah, very close. Should have cast at second level. Uh, she has Checks. less health than Sora, and she has Ooh. thirty-six remaining. Oh, okay. There you go. You're so yeah, close. We, we've done some damage yeah. to her. Osborne. Uh, Osborne is oh hi kitty baby. Um, Osborne <laughs> is gonna use entangle again while she's okay. underwater. The seaweed is gonna wrap around her. Okay. Um, uh, can you? It's, you can't it's, see a, it. it's a cube. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, so she has to make a strength save okay. DC. Would she be at disadvantage on that save? No, she would not. Okay. However, she did fail it. Oh, All right. that's well, she's horrible. She's now entangled in seaweed underwater. Okay. Cool. Wow. That's my turn. I just sit there and think about the seaweed going towards her, and Yuane is guiding my thoughts, and then it grips around her like that, and it holds I, onto her tight. You see Sora suddenly yanked underwater, <laughs> and then you see some blood pool up to the top of the water. Did you do it? Did you do it? I just entangled. Thaddeus. Uh, did I see what just did that? No, you just saw. You didn't even see. Saw you saw Sora pulled under and yeah. then disappear. I guess and then I'll, blood comes I'll up. make a perception. I got nothing else I can do right now. Right. Um, will it take my action to make a perception check? No. Okay. <laughs> it, seven. I mean, it, it, you see that there's blood pooling. Cool. I'm gonna keep ready in an action to throw a javelin at the assassin, or if there's a, a big scary sea beast that pops its head up, I'm gonna throw a javelin at that too. All right. Oh, I'm almost thinking it might have been the assassin. Because yeah, there was a bounty on his head and information. All right, Barthoon. Um. Yeah. You think she killed him? Yeah, we should have we should have locked her down a little bit. Do oh, that's not. Oh, she's entangled. We right. Should've, we should have held that person somehow. Well, let's get to her. Would have been great because she were currently entangled. <laughs> I can release that. I'm just gonna keep. Time I'm just gonna keep writing in action as well. For guiding bolt. Okay. Yeah. You what? I don't have anything else I can do either. You know when you're ready a spell, you use so that spell slot. We don't see okay, anyone yeah. above water. So oh, I use so the one less. Yeah, but but if, he if you're maintaining the same readied action, yeah. then I don't make you spend the spell slot again. Because okay. she still hasn't then, shown up. Then, so then, right. I'm just gonna keep, keep waiting. Yeah. Yeah. It's just if you decide to do something else before that trigger goes off, then the spell slot goes away. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Yeah. You want right. so you're just so we don't see anyone above water. I'm gonna give it not currently. Although, uh, by the time it gets your turn, and you see a body bob back up and it's Sora. What's wrong with him? Uh, from this distance, it's kind of hard. So oh. You can roll up. Maybe he drowned. He seems dead. He's maybe relaxing. He drowned suddenly is and bloodily. Is his face up or down? down? His face is currently uh, actually up. Oh. oh, so he could just be unconscious. 
Mm. There was a lot of blood. There yeah. was a lot of blood. Um. Are there such things as sharks in this world? Yes. Uh-huh. I'm not going in. <laughs> All right. Um. Also, please use horse. Then yeah, I'll, I'll just wait. Those might not be a thing. They're not. Okay. I'll, I'll wait for this my same old trigger. Okay. Yes, Steam. <laughs> I will use my action to attempt to see through the sense my familiar doesn't still exist. Does it still exist? The familiar? Is it still there? <laughs> the familiar, unfortunately, was destroyed. I was afraid of that. Yeah. Yes. The, the splash in the water figures. Okay, well, because right, it only has one hit point. It is, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. No. Yeah. Osborne. Yeah, it did. No, don't do that. I'll release Entangle. Okay. Um, I'm picturing in my mind just hands releasing, and could they assist her? Could the kelp assist her up to... Like try to push her up? Kind of, like release and push at the same time. You Roll say me no. a, let's say a nature check. Okay. And let's do a wisdom nature check. You know, yeah. just make a spell casting check. Yeah, so just yeah. a straight up wisdom check. 11 plus 3, 14. All right, yeah, you can see that the, uh, the, the kelp and the vines and stuff start pushing upwards, and they raise Sora's body. You don't see the assassin. Yeah. What? We missed her. Yeah. Ha! She's still under. <laughs> Is she? Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Maybe she became water. All right. No. No. It's All my right. turn. I'm mad. All right. That's her turn. That is. All right. Cast see invisibility. You don't see anything. I don't see anything. All right. She became water. He but becomes then. plants. <laughs> she's she's just a wonder twin. I'm gonna keep maintaining the same. Form of the ocean water. water. Maintain the same thing. Yeah. All right. Do what? Well, seems pretty obvious to me that she became water. Okay. So I <laughs> do. Do we have like life preservers or whatever? <laughs> not not any monitors. You have ropes. Floats. You have ropes that you can toss out. It's just really poofy snakes. You just drape over <laughs> a poofy snake around yourself and jump in. The Outlanders truly are backwards people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really want to throw a rope in, because then I have to get in. Snakes are lifesavers, Chloe. I'll throw one in. Maybe one of y'all will do it. All That's right. That's a good plan. I throw a rope at the thing. Esteem. Uh, I'm going to get up and go Ooh. to the other side of the ship. Uh, looking off the edge there. You I don't see. like that smile. <laughs> you see... Oh, come on! <laughs> How is she that fast? The dinghies that you came on? Yep. And you can see her rowing, uh, and uh, and you see that she's she's somehow gotten over there. Yep. Okay. So she's in the boats right now? She's in the boats. Okay. Or just, just one boat. Yeah, in one boat. In one of the boats, right. Um, okay. All right, well, let's kind of calculate this. We want to. He does quick math in his head. Yeah, I can see him, like, carry the one, kind of stuff. How'd she get that far away? So if like she's, she's probably away. there, huh? What? Is she there, or is she here? Yeah, she's right there with the rhythm. Yeah. The... Here's your figure if you want it. Okay, well. <sighs> she could probably uncanny dodge out of this and survive. Out of what? A lightning uh, bolt? Yeah, lightning bolt. You can't uncanny dodge out of a lightning bolt, I don't think. I think it's an attack. It's a dex save. Lightning bolt? It's a dex save. Uh, no, I... I yeah, but oh, I think oh I see what you're saying. Yes. Oh, uh, the uncanny right? dodge, you can't. Evasion. Yeah. Evasion, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Evasion, I see. Okay. Mmm, well, but, I'm... Yeah. Mm, she's got an extra attack, so she probably doesn't have that many... I'm, I'm really... I'm, I'm a little meta on this one. Um, no, I think all right. You can be as meta as you want. I'm going to jump on the side of this boat right. and hurl a fourth level lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah you are. All right. That's 1d6 difference. But well, how'd, how'd she roll on that deck, sir? Uh, she rolled a nine. Okay. Nah, nah. She'll take half damage. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> she does have evasion, so she'll, she'll oh, take half, she on a, half on a half on a Okay, thank you, my D6 is. You'll load me up D6 on the D6. D6. Can you just borrow, borrow these? Oh, yeah. 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 He you know needs I do not them. mind. I will yeah. take these. Would you rather have those or the Barnaby dice? Give me the Barnaby dice. Give me the Barnaby dice. Give me the Barnaby dice. If she's going to take half, she's going to take a lot of half. Yeah, she's going to take half of 65 somehow. Barnaby dice. All right. The there dice they all killed Ailed and Grim right. <laughs> oh, did they ever? <laughs> uh, so I need nine of these. Mm-hmm. Right. I'll. Oh my gosh! 
Keep those. It's a good start. Yeah, they're the Barnaby Eyes. They are. Oh, my word. Oh. That's them. That's what they do. Oh it's the Barnaby Eyes. Those are sneak attack. Woo. Those are bacon. 24. Word. 30. That was a 5. 35. 40. Lightning damage. So she'll take 20. So she'll take 20. All right. Uh, as the blow, ah! as the boat is blown apart, yeah, uh, you see her dive underneath the water. Of course she do. Of course she do. All right, Osborne. She is over here. Do we? She is we over here. Around, he just do yelled. we see her at all? You as see a splash casting and that? some ripples spreading in the water there. Um, I'm going to oh. run over to the edge of the boat. Okay. Uh. Put my staff on for, the like side of the boat. Uh, hand my staff to Esteem, or attempt to. Hold on to this. Oh, oh. Uh, literally, like, the greatest swan dive you've ever seen. Like, as oh, majestic. So majestic. So majestic. Just. All right, <laughs> in you go. Um, can I see her? Uh, as once you hit under the water? Yes. Uh, a you're faint hint. Currently halfling, right? Yeah. Just pretty far away under the water, so I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna swim. I'd say everything's lightly obscured. Under I'm gonna the water. swim until I can see her. That's about as far as you can go. Can I see her? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> you can dash <laughs> under the water. Yeah, but you then still move half speed. That's true. Let me bonus action dash. All right. You can bonus action dash. No, I can't. Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, no, but you did you action? No. Yeah. So you just action. Can I see her? Not yet. God! I mean, you're still, like, pretty far away. Can I make uh, another dash? About this big. No, no, you cannot. You know there was a boat there. It's her turn. Oh, Thaddeus. Uh, I'm, I'm going to jump down onto the remaining it. boat. Okay. That is over there and begin rowing. Just well, I, I, and then I'd like to ready Oh, yeah, my there action. was a boat. I'd like to ready my action to begin, <laughs> to begin rowing as soon as at least one of my companions gets in. Okay, fair and, enough. Oh, let me rephrase. As soon as the last Pick of my up. companions who are willing to come and get into the boat in pursuit How would you of Jesus. Or just they're going to look my way done. and be like, oh, and then start moving. So you're watching to see who's yeah. coming. That makes sense. All right, I'll allow that. Or, or row the boat. Uh, I'm going to hop in the boat with him. As well. All right. Uh, anybody else look like they're heading for the boat? No. Nah, I'm, All right. I'm, I'm, and then, then I'm going to go shoot. six squares. <laughs> and really go <laughs> four squares because it's already two away. They're, where am I? You or you. Uh, except that right I'm, I'm using yeah. my action. No, 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 no. Throw it right there. Dash it so we can go Right, but you can only here, ready so the one, in action. Two, you can't ready your four. And then you so did one, two, yeah. three. Because oh. he has to swim. Ready, and he swims right. Wait. Because you can't ready movement. Right, but you said the boats just move six at the end of each Right, at the end of Osborne's turn. Can you grab uh, me? If someone's it. already rowing. Oh. Yeah. Got it. Can you grab me? Oh, sure. Could you have grabbed him? As we went past. I'm gonna sure. jump in this water. So you're still in the water, but you're right next to it. <laughs> He's like holding on to your arm. I'm just going. Um, I'm gonna jump just in the water and rescue our dead guy. All right, yeah. Maybe he has. So you can make it to him if you dash. You can make it to him this round. Um, are you kidding? I have 50. Remember, like I said, it's like this far away on the other side. Yeah, it's quite a distance. Half speed swim. Yeah. Step of the wind, yo. Step of the wind would let you just jump most of that distance yeah, out to the. You did get you can get a running start. And then basically become Jesus, like step of the wind. <laughs> Not quite. Not is, that how, is, is that how Jesus did it? He I just stepped out of the boat I mean, and then he was out. <laughs> All right. I'll so you make it the there, and you, you can the easily bonus. grab him once you're over there. Like halfway there. It's a combination of right. wizard, monk, and cleric. I will. Can, I can't see her right now. She's underwater. All uh, right. Can I occasionally stick my head in? Is he, <laughs> she's, she's probably not going to be within 120 feet. You'll have to be either. within about six squares to see six someone squares. else underwater. Six squares. Uh, within 120 feet? Yeah, when she surfaces. Well, probably not. I, I mean, I can get 120 feet on her with magic missile. I'm going to ready another th a third level out of the wand. All right. If I can see her in range when okay. she surfaces. Osborne. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hop in the boat. Bonus action. Uh, uh, as my action, help us go faster. Okay, only uh, you can only go so fast, and so he's already doing it. So, Re ready your action. Then to I'm gonna ready in an action to no entangle way. her when okay. I see her. When you see her, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and that makes the boat go six squares now because it is uh, Oz at the end of Oz's turn, and that puts us at her turn. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling. All right. 
right. And also being on the lookout for her, I guess. So, perception. No, I'm rowing the boat. All right. And you can see, of course, I didn't mention this before, but right here where the rocks are, it's only about another 120 feet before the coastline. Oh, that's bad. All right, yep. Barthoon. Well, I'm going to cast uh, a light cantrip into the water where she was. Okay. Does that kind of illuminate it and... A little bit. It would let you see a silhouette. Okay. That's, you that's what I'm looking for. You there. don't see it. Yeah. Okay. She's no longer there. But you do. You can see some silhouettes of things around that area, so if you know that if she was there, you'd see her. So you confirm that she's not right there. Okay. Uh, so... Watch the coastline. Uh, UI. I had I threw a rope down. Okay. So and you while you're over there, you you you've made it to him basically because you dashed right. Yeah, I jumped yeah. into the water with my double jump. Yeah. So you're over there with him, and as you pull him up, you can see that his throat is slit. Uh, what? Looks like a, looks like a short. She killed him. Oh yeah. Um, and you can see, uh, or once you get over there, you smell, uh, sort of a brimstony smell like sulfur. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Great. I don't either. These characters would not know what it means, but some yeah. of your orc characters have encountered a particular boar shaped cloak before. Yeah. yeah, that lets you poof. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I tied the rope around him and pulled uh, this way. Son of a gun. All right. I don't want to run into too many more of these. I don't like assassins. <laughs> All right. Osborne. Or uh, Steam, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I yeah, don't think I have anything keep, I can keep do. On, keep on ready him. Uh, right. Did I. When I did that. D- uh, since it's an object that wasn't a spell I cast, does it use those charges in the wine? Uh, I'd say if you change your ready to action, yeah. Mm. If you do something else. Well, I think I'll hold on to them for now. Okay. I mean, I don't think that she's going to surface, but... All right. Osborne? On the off chance. Has she surfaced yet? Not yet. Um... You are ready to tangle still? Still ready to tangle All right, we can move 12 this time, but we're not going to because, you know, there's rocks. You can now move 12. Uh, but we'll we'll move close as we, we can. can. Get through them. You have can little, we can we get through them? Oh, we're work. just on well, one. Yeah, you are. I mean, though, that's still there. Yeah, uh, but you could go around the boat, right around the boat if mm. you wanted. That's that's probably still faster. All right. Unless she's on the boat. Yeah. Uh. All right. Her turn. Thaddeus. I'm gonna make a perception check. Uh, fourteen. What are you looking for? Uh, her. Any sign of of her? Any. Uh, disturbances on the boat, anything on the coastline. I'm just, just head on a swivel because I'm not doing anything else. All right, I'm gonna keep rowing. All right, and I've still got my sea invisibility up for like. All right, hour. cool. Barton. Um, I guess I will also just make a perception check. That cloak doesn't make you ping as a fiend, does it? It does not. Um, I didn't think so. How does a 19 I treat you? Like a 19. Any per- sign perception? of perception? Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe seeing whether or not there's, um, like 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 water going up onto the boat or water onto the coastline or okay. anything like so that. So, you do see that uh, there is some water up against uh, basically where that window was on the back of the boat. Mm-hmm. You can see that there's like water kind of dripping from it. The water has also been crashing against it, so that may be something. It may be nothing. Okay. Do you tell us that? Yeah, I'll, I'll, but does it look, like, does it go above where the water has been crashing? Like, does it I mean, you can't tell where the water, since no one came over to this side before, Okay. uh, you only looked at it from inside the ship, you're not really sure, but you can see that currently the water is lapping against it, and so at high tide, it might have been uh, lapping against it higher. So you're you're not, I mean, it could be that that's not the case, and she's right there on the boat. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna shout. I think that she climbed up okay. into the. All right, you are. Whatever. <laughs> I climb up onto the thing, and I use I use the rope to climb up, and then I use the rope to pull him up. Anaril comes over and she says, "Well, it's a shame we can't get his information, but at least he's out of the game." Um, search the pockets, yo. Yeah, what have you been we, doing? I think this we would time? have searched the pockets. She's been trying to them. avoid getting killed by the assassin, who's clearly targeting people from the Hayfork here. 
uh, since all of the crew on both ships are dead. Okay, well, uh, search this stupid body. Uh, yeah, she'll start digging through the pockets. Uh, all right, esteem. Uh, I will hold on to that one. She was trying to avoid being, being killed. killed? <laughs> uh, cool. Osborne? Uh, I'm going to hop on the ship. Uh, you're still a little ways away. Um, but you can, well, because right here we're, we're not really because we went twelve squares. We just yeah, I didn't okay. Y'all were there, right? No, we were we were close a little bit right closer. There. there you go. Yeah. All right. So then, basically, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're there. Nine, ten. Basically, to there. Yeah. So you're essentially right there. So yeah. May I use my bonus action to get onto the ship? Yeah. Voice crack, and then my actual yeah. action. Can I ready wind wall for I, I, like as soon as anything that basically moves hostilely towards me? <laughs> All right, cool. So as you uh, as you climb up onto the ship, roll me an athletic check because it is slippery with the water. Nice. Um, can I use acrobatics? I mean, it, what, I, what it really should be is an, ac- an, a- an athletics check. It's a low DC, but it's at disadvantage because of the water. So do I, do I roll at disadvantage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Not bad. Right. Five. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you said not bad. Uh, the DC was ten. So, uh, yeah. So that was you, bad. You start climbing up and you slip off into the water. You're just splashing the water right there below. Uh, you ain't damn it. <laughs> All right. That's her turn. And that is. Uh, I'm, I'm climbing up onto the boat. All right. At disadvantage is a 13. All right, yeah. You make it right up onto the boat, and as soon as you make it onto the boat... Oh, sorry. Oh. oh. You got the sword in your side. <clears throat> so let's see how that goes for you. Uh, a 22 to hit. All right. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to shield out of it. Okay. All right, then. Oh, I suppose it, uh, it would have had advantage because she was hidden. Oh, she had a better than my 14 or whatever. Okay, she did it good. She's got a plus nine to still. Yeah, so. <laughs> sometimes right, so in that case, will be ad- oh. you don't have to shield them though, since uh, okay, well, since you would have known. I won't. Before. I won't shield then. All I'm right, just gonna die instead. <laughs> oh, she roll max. So um, oh boy, not cow. max. No, max is very very high. Before the sneak attack. Mm-hmm. Well, but remember the poison is different for me because I'm resistant. That's true. Uh. Seven, no, wait. Yeah, 17 uh, piercing damage. Mm-hmm. And 56 poison. Ooh, what kind of, what kind of short sword? Nice. No. Uh, poisoned kind. <laughs> uh, sneak attack will add 33 piercing. You're down, homie. He's not I, dead outright, though. I am down. Only yeah. by three, but I'm down. Yeah. I was gonna say, there's no way that kills you outright, but yeah, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. So you see that I see oh! up, and then down. immediately like ah, oh, he drops to the ground. Barthoon. Uh, although as she does that, she is gonna <laughs> take Ooh. six fire damage. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do I see her? as my armor? No, flares you didn't. Like... You didn't. You didn't even like see an arm shoot out. You just saw him climb up, and you see him just grab his side and drop to the ground. Well, that's her ready to action. I have to say. Um, I'm going to... No, stop it. Yeah, I am going to do that. I'm going to cast Guardian of Faith and put it just inside. Um, like, basically on top of his. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him uh, remind around. me what Guardian of Faith does, because I can never so, differentiate that um, from the other. Whenever it lands, it okay. will deal... Um, if you move to a space within 10 feet of it, or... Or start your turn there. Uh-huh. You have to succeed on a deck saving throw. Okay. And if not, you take 20 radiant damage. Okay, cool. Okay, nice. So, that, you still that's a good one. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, that puts us at UI. <clears throat> Did he find anything interesting in his pockets? In, oh, are you searching his pockets? I thought she was. Well, okay. she was, but I cool. mean... Uh, as you search through, uh, you see that he's got a concealed dagger... Inside, uh, it looks as though he has a, uh, a pocket just inside of his uh, coat. Um, and that pocket has uh, what looks like three loops that would hold small, like about that big scroll cases. Two of them have a scroll case in it. The pocket's been sliced open, 
and one of them is missing. Hmm. Are the scroll cases okay? They are. They're, are they they're waterproof. waterproof, yeah. <gasps> they're scroll, like, they're full scroll cases. Is this jacket okay? The jacket is a little bit waterlogged. I mean, you could dry it out. That's a cool jacket. I'm, I'm going to dry that out. Yeah. And I'll probably wear it. You already have your ridiculous, like, smith Yeah, and, and his coat, his right? coat, basically, he's got a big, like, full, almost like a like a trench. It comes down just below the knees. Uh, hide coat uh, that's just made of basically, like, raw uh, boar's hide, maybe, or maybe an auruk hide. And then uh, he had on as well, you had taken it from him before you... Uh, because, you know, you don't like to have bulky clothing on prisoners. But you'd taken away his, uh, his fur-lined uh, cloak that he was wearing as well. I'm going to steal his whole outfit. Anyway, <laughs> um, what does the scroll say? Uh, opening it up, it I'm not doing looks anything to else, be so. gibberish. Oh, this is a code. code? Well, I'm not the smartest one we have here. Maybe it's so orcish I'll, gibberish. I'll just wait. And it is. it does look like orcish characters. Esteem. Uh, I'll just wait. I, I see that there's something going on over there. That is about as much as I can, <laughs> as much as I can do. Yeah, you, you see Barthoon shout something and cast a spell. Eh. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pocket the wand and turn to see what's going on over here. All right. Then Osborne. Hey. I'd like hey. to attempt to climb up what? back up the ship. Okay. Athletic check at disadvantage. Oh yeah, I'll look it over. Ah! There you go. You see the Um. As my this bonus action, guy. I would love to drop one of my potions, my Cure Wounds potion, on you. So that'd be an action, unfortunately. Yeah. Then uh, it's worth it. All right. So I'm going to drop my Cure Wounds on you. And that's 2D. Two, 2D. Two oh, it's a D8 plus your spellcasting mod. Wait, wasn't this a special one that you got made that was, like, extra potent? Oh, don't, no, don't throw I just that made, No, I just, it's a regular potion I made. Okay. okay. All right. That was crazy. Is that for you, Osborne? Yeah, it's five. It's fine. Five is up. I guess I'll take a... Performance check to lay still. Bonus action? Not very good. Bonus action healing word? No, I can't. All right. Um, You actually can. Yeah, you didn't cancel That wasn't a spell. Oh, show no! So yourself, you want a healing word? Yes, because I cannot take one of those hits. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hey! Seven health. Yeah. And I would love to keep an eye on her. Okay. And she's she? standing right there, and she's got two yeah, short swords drawn. Uh, yeah, I'll place her. I'll place her. Well, okay, yeah, I she's guess basically I'm there too. right there. You're about right there. And I'm laying down. And yeah, I, I guess you would have like jumped in just over his body. Yeah, so I climbed up, dropped a potion on him. Uh, I mutter something under my breath, and I look at her, and I say, Well. Well. What's your safety seat? Um... Uh, so I'm going to assume 14. that it's 15. 14, All right, then she passed the save. As oh, the Guardian right. of Faith uh, brandishes its weapon, she rolls underneath it, coming up with a short sword on each side. Cool. She's, she's, she's she still doesn't. takes damage. She, does. she does not. She's, she she has evasion. Thing, yeah. Yeah. It's a rogue ability. I have evasion. All right, and she it's a monk ability, too. No. And she rolls between the two of you, slashing play. each of you as she does so. Does she hit? Uh, let's find out. Got a 21 and a 20. I'm gonna shield it. All right. So uh, her her left blade is deflected by this force, and she doesn't get her uh, her sneak attack on this. Cool. Yeah, but against just the poison. Ah. It's gonna be seven piercing. We good. And, we good so far. Eighty poison. And twenty-seven poison. What's half of twenty-seven? Thirteen. Yeah. That's not actually bad. Gucci. That's twenty total damage. That's yeah. not bad. Gucci. All right, Thaddeus. I would not have been. Gucci. She does not look good, by the way. Good. Uh, well, then. Because she's about <laughs> to die yeah, from from the ground. <laughs> And then I just slam her with my shield. I'm mechanically attacking with my spear right. both times. But I'm going to stand up and, and smack her with my spear. Yeah, slam her against yeah. the wall. Mechanically, yeah, just forward. smack right. my, my sh- uh, shield into her with a 20 to hit. All right, that'll hit. And then with my spear, uh, more than that. I mean, you uh, kill or knockout? Knockout. All right, go ahead and uh, And I only have my one, two, six there. That's all right. Uh, so in total, keeping that. Uh, <laughs> that's... Uh, 10, 18 total. All right, damage. taking your shield, you slam her against the wall as you hop up to your feet. You slam her against the wall and taking your spear in your other hand, you just lay a fist yeah. right into her uh, her head and she slams her skull against the side and just sort of slumps down against the floor. <coughs> well, that was something. 
Um, I'm gonna walk over and cast Cure Wound second level on him. All right. And I think right there is where we will take our short intermission. We'll be back uh, very soon. We realized that the first half was uh, pretty short this time because we had a uh, some late arrivals. But uh, to make up for it, our second half is going to be longer. We'll stay a little bit later, and uh, we'll see what we get done. And yeah. make sure to check out, uh, we saw a re-roll this evening, and he got that re-roll based off of his Patreon uh, patronage. <laughs> uh, he donates $5 a month. Um <laughs> He's one of our really good fans, uh, so if you go and check out our Patreon, you get to see all the rewards you get for donating per month. Also, if you just donate via PayPal on our Twitch, you get to have one reroll that's not rechargeable like the uh, Patreon ones are. So, yeah, make sure you go check it out. It's in the link below. And our Obsidian portal's there, so you get to catch up on all the lore and stuff. So, yeah. All right, well, we will be back at 8.23, and we'll kick off our longer second act. Thank you.